We welcome you back to the Sports Mix as I'm now joined by Marcus Law, the head coach of Spring Mills Football. Coach Law, your team still undefeated 6-0, and have dominated so far, shutting out every team you've played, coming off a bye week as well before the game against university. So let's focus on the uh, bye week. What were you guys uh, doing during the time off? Well, during that time, we, we kind of took a chance to get back to something. I mean, offense, defense, and especially special teams. And it's kind of one of those things, you know, you, know, you get through the grind of the, of the season. You kind of get some, some of the basics, you know, as far as, like, you no know, stop blocking and making sure it heads on the right side for the awesome line. And it gave us a chance to go back and do some of those things that we kind of missed out on. And also kind of um, – also we want to try to make practice as competitive as we possibly can. And that kind of makes some of the – especially the D linemen kind of happy because they can kind of pin their ears back and do and work on some different moves and stuff they've been trying to, uh, to get back and cause a little bit of chaos in the backfield. Uh, special teams-wise, um, got a chance to slow things down, work on, again, more of the basics of running lanes and, and making sure guys were, were fitting right exactly where they're supposed to be for those run sets and everything, of course. You mentioned keeping things competitive in practice. What are some of the things that you're doing to accomplish that? Well, it, uh, it really starts with the kids and some of those coaches kind of like, you know, a little bit of trash talking here and there. And, and of course, they buy into it because, I mean, the energy challenge, it goes way up there. Um, but we spent a good amount of time while working on team stuff and having that scout team out there and having some starters join the scout guys and trying to bounce it out as much as possible. I mean, it's one of those things you, you know, you typically see on a campus there. You team into your ones and ones. Uh, of course, with our numbers, we can't exactly, but maybe it's about as even as we possibly can to uh, try to get a little bit of uh, sample of their practice. This week, you guys play host to University. What have you seen out of university so far? Well, um, again, I kind of start with their defense there. Um, they do an excellent job of keeping everything in front of them. Um, now, granted, they've done a couple different scheme things, so we'll kind of kind of have to prep for uh, a couple things there. Um, but I think I wanted to the DM them before. He's a good-sized boy. He played well against us last year. And, of course, they bring in a few more pieces in the, on the back side of things there. Offensively, they both start rotating a couple of quarterbacks, um, big, good size running backs in there. And of course, they got a couple of guys from last year that kind of round things out to bring them back. Um, I definitely anticipate them. They've thrown the ball a lot more in the last few weeks, but we'll see if they'll bounce it out or stay true to what they've kind of been doing. How tough is that when you've seen multiple different schemes from a team to figure out which one maybe you want to try to key in on, or do you kind of just go almost a Jack of all trades type approach for gearing up for a game with uh, those well, factors. I mean, uh, so that was a beautiful thing about bye week there. So we had a chance to kind of start breaking down some of the things we had on them already, and so it gave us like a little bit more time to kind of really focus in on if they give us this particular defense. These are some of the things that we can do. And so, like today, we'll have our offensive practice again, heavy offensive practice. And so we'll spend just a little bit of time, about ten, fifteen minutes, um, about three different sets there. And we'll just kind of fine tune some of the things that we we've, we've kind of anticipated them to be able to do. Now, on a typical week, you have to kind of roll your dice and run with, you know. Lost you for a second there, coach. You're still there. Oh, yep. Sorry, I'm gonna slide to a different spot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you want me to repeat that? <laughs> yes, please. Okay. A bye week um, leading into this game, so we were able to actually take a good amount of time to focus on the various things we kind of seen. Um, so give it to us on that. But, I mean, if you're in a typical week, it's just one of those things you can spend as much time as you want to on everything. Um, in the end, most people, but just someone who wants you to see it, um, reproduce what they that works against you. Uh, so you better be ready to have answers for that. As of right now, what do you kind of feel like some of the answers might be? What are you guys hoping to execute Friday to come out with another win? Well, I'm um, anticipating a difference between man and zone defense form. Um, again, we stress to our guys to be able to create separations, uh, special receivers when they're running routes. Uh, we've worked a little bit on um, coverage recognition as well. So, I'll say if they're going to drop into a zone, it's one of their biggest things is they're not going to let you just beat them over the top. So, we've got to be able to sit down and, and be able to find the holes and stuff within the defense. And then that takes a lot of practice because now your receivers and quarterbacks both need to be on the same page. So, that's been one of the things we've been kind of locked in on lately. Lost you again, Coach. Oh, man. 
<laughs> Can you hear me now? I'm sorry. Yes, you're good. Okay. But no, what I was saying, um, uh, we've been really trying to focus on making sure our guys can uh, be able to create separation, especially if teams are wanting to go man covered. You've got to be able to create that separation and be able to get the ball in there. And at the same time, the linemen have to be able to pick up blitzes because that's been one of the things that came. All righty, Coach. Sorry about that. Uh, anything else? If not, we'll get to the fun question. Connection's kind of well, cutting out again. Are you still there, Coach? You got me? Yep. All right. Any other thoughts? Oh, sorry about it. No, um, just well, we're really excited to get back on the gridiron um, after having that bye week, and then we can kind of get back to what we're doing. All right. Fun question for this week is uh, if you could choose one person, dead or alive, to meet and have a conversation with, who would it be and why? Oh, man. Uh, um, again, just three things. I think we all can respect this kind of the edge. Understanding and I'll just say I kind of wish that that conversation be spilled over to my to our, the kids on our team and it for someone who's done it from the very highest level possible. You're kind of cutting out. I could hear some of the points that you were making, but I don't think I heard who you said exactly. Uh-huh. Sorry. All right, you got me now. Sorry. Uh, my yes. room is a death spot. But what I was saying, um, I would definitely want to meet Michael Jordan. I okay. Just recently, all that kind of came out there uh, would be kind of fun. Uh, his mind on just anything, everything. All right, Coach Law, appreciate the time. I know connection hasn't been the best, but on the positive side of things, we'll see you in person next week. So don't hey, have to worry perfect, about the man. phone. Glad to have you. So appreciate the time. Best of luck on Friday. Thank you.